Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawashai, Bahasham, Raka Kudash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawashai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akiam, out there, pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the brother Raya with another video, and I'm going to start it off in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 18. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. And this is talking about when the true children of Israel, who are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are back in the land of Israel, ruling in the kingdom of heaven. There's going to be no more violence in the land of Israel, especially against the children of Israel. And I wanted to preface an article from RT.com with this precept to show that those people over in the land right now, the 1948ers, as we'll call them, are not the true people of the book. They're imposters. They're actually Amalekite Edomites. Here's an article from RT.com titled Clashes Break Out in Jerusalem as right-wing Jewish rally chants death to Arabs and faces off with police. And again, if those 1948ers were the true children of Israel, there wouldn't be clashes breaking out in Jerusalem. As it says back in Isaiah 60, verse 18, violence, clashes, shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. Dozens of arrests were made following rioting and clashes in downtown Jerusalem, where Jewish and Arab demonstrators squared off with security forces and reportedly with each other as police struggled to keep them apart. The Jerusalem District Police kept a heavy presence in the city on Thursday night and into Friday morning amid the violence, which saw scores of Jewish marchers stream through the through the Jerusalem some taking part in menacing chants such as death to Arabs and may your village burn down, according to local news reports. Hey, and you uh, so-called Palestinian Arabs who are really Ishmaelites, you don't belong in the land either. You're both squatters. From Ido Conrad's Twitter page, hundreds of young Jewish supremacists led by far-right leader Benzi Gopstein, who is on for incitement, for incitement to violence, racism and terror now gathered near Jerusalem's old city. Journalists on the ground reporting chants of death to Arabs. But I thought violence was supposed to be no more heard in your land if you were the true children of Israel. From Abier Khatib's Twitter page, happening now in Jerusalem, Jewish extremist settlers heading toward Bab el Amud, according to plan to carry out attacks against Palestinians. <laughs> At least 79 arrests were made over the course of the night, including five Israelis for suspicious behavior, some of whom were armed with hammers and others makeshift weapons. Haaretz reported, while dozens more were picked up in clashes with police and other opposing demonstrators, both Jewish and Arab protesters reportedly threw stones and launched fireworks at officers. Footage circulating on social media showed a number of scenes from the confrontation, including when police unleashed stun grenades and skunk water cannons on the crowds. Mounted officers were also present. From Nir Hassan's Twitter page, I 
Isaiah 60 verse 18 again, violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. Clearly not a stun grenade to skunk water getting used over in the Holy Land. From Khan News' Twitter page. Other unconfirmed footage purported to show an attack on an Arab household by a Jewish group in which people are seen hurling objects at the home, while yet another clip appeared to depict a demonstrator hitting an officer with a stone at point-blank range. From Lewis Fishman's Twitter page, Israeli Jewish fascists are attacking the homes of Palestinians in the old city of Jerusalem. All night long, Jewish groups have been roaming streets shouting death to Arabs. Can you imagine the fear? Another clip from uh, Ka'an News' Twitter page. Fires were also ignited in the streets by protesters with videos showing a vehicle going up in flames and what appeared to be a public security camera destroyed and set ablaze from News Press PS's Twitter page. <laughs> From Orn Ziv 1985's Twitter page. According to local broadcaster Khan News, some of the Israelis present were linked to the Lahaba organization, a militant right-wing movement fiercely opposed to Jewish-Arab integration, which Israeli officials had previously considered labeling as a terrorist group. Lahaba's leader, Ben Zion Gopstein, attended Thursday's march, where the Jerusalem Post quoted him as saying, we've come here tonight to clarify to anyone who thinks otherwise Jer Jerusalem is ours, which as we see through the scriptures is clearly not. From Noga Tarnopolsky's Twitter page, hundreds of mostly Orthodox Jewish youth marching through downtown Jerusalem towards Damascus Gate amid chants of death to Arabs. <laughs> From Abir Khatib's Twitter page, Horrifying Night in Jerusalem, hundreds of Jewish supremacists marched toward Jerusalem's old city. <laughs> Allah, 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 Allah,
I think that might be the same clip from earlier. Though police did not appear to take measures to halt the Israeli activists, the head of Israel's Arab Joint Party, Joint List Party, Ayman O'Day, questioned the intentions of the security forces, claiming they had enabled the far-right demonstrators to organize a pogrom tonight. The unrest comes amid a string of violence during the Muslim holiday of Ramadan, which has seen tit-for-tat attacks and reprisals between Arabs and Jews. Helping to fuel the tensions, a number of videos have recently made the rounds on TikTok showing Palestinians assaulting Israelis, including one group who beat a driver in the street and later reportedly set his car on fire. And that's another cut to you Amalekite Edomites. When the true children of Israel, who are again you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are back over in the Holy Land, not only would violence no more be heard of in the Holy Land, which were clearly seen as not the case from this article, but also no other religion or philosophies would be being practiced in the Holy Land. The only thing that would be being practiced in the land of Israel and over the entire planet at that time would be the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai in the scriptures. Over in the land right now, you've got Christianity being practiced, Judaism, which isn't a part of the scriptures being practiced, and Islam being practiced. We just read in that paragraph that the Muslims are celebrating the holiday of Ramadan. This is Micah chapter 4. I'm going to read verses 1 to 3. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of Yahweh shall be established in the top of the mountains. And in the scriptures, mountains can be symbolic for power structures or governments. This is speaking of the kingdom of heaven beginning with the elect, the 144,000 and the rest of the righteous one-third. And it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh, and to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. And you're clearly not seeing this happen with those 1948ers. People aren't following after the Talmud wearing uh, Shirley Temple curls or yarmulkes or speaking Yiddish. A lot of these nations are actually coming against those 1948ers, condemning them for how they treat those Palestinians and also against how they're constantly pushing for war against Iran. And also there's kosher pork over in the Holy Land and Tel Aviv is known as Pink City and it's one of the pride hotspots on the entire planet. Verse 3, And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. And you'd have to be a madman to say that this is going on right now with those 1948ers over in the land. Hell, when they uh, established the state of Israel, you had the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. And uh, later on, you had the Six Days War. And World War III hasn't even happened yet. The battle in the Valley of Jehoshaphat or the War of Armageddon. Hey, you uh, Amalekite Edomites just don't have it and you don't fit the script. Jerusalem itself is at the heart of a decades-long dispute between Palestinians and Israelis, which again, neither of y'all belong there, with the city holding a major religious significance for both Muslims and Jews. Its western half was incorporated into the newly created state of Israel in 1948 after the nations recommended dividing the city between the two sides, while its eastern portion was captured by Israeli forces during the 1967 Six-Day War and has been under military, military occupation ever since. Israeli settlements continued to encroach into eastern Jerusalem, which has been deemed a violation of international law by the UN and other world agencies. And this last paragraph of this article also cuts you Amalekite Edomites, because in the scriptures it says that you would get the Holy Land by appointing it into your possession. 
This is Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which is just the Greek way of saying Edom, which you uh, 1948ers are, your Amalekite Edomites, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart and despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. You appointed the land of Israel into your hands, beginning with the Balfour Declaration in 1917, and then later on with the Israeli Declaration of Independence in 1948, with the help of the United Nations. So that's it with this video. As you can clearly see, those Amalekite Edomites just don't have it. They don't fit the prophecies dealing with the true children of Israel being in the land, but they do fit the prophecies with the Edomites appointing the land into their possession. So with this video, I hope you sincere Akim were edified. Just keep strong and keep pushing this word. We're almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites. And as always, I'm going to say, Abad Babal, Kwam Yasharala, and until next time, Shalom.